Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Aussie from FlamelineVisualEffects.com, and welcome to my another After Effects tutorial. Today we are create a very exciting tutorial. So let's see what we will create today. Wow, it's look really awesome. One more things, if you want more tutorials like this one, so please subscribe my channel, hit the red subscribe button. Okay, now let's get started. Okay, so first create a new composition, go to composition, new composition and rename it to spark comp. And I'm going with full HD 1920 1080p frame rate 25 and duration make it 6 seconds then click on OK. Now create a new solid layer so right click new and solid and make it black and rename it to spark then click on OK. Now go to effect and preset window and search for CC particle world then select the effect and apply onto our spark layer then go to grid and guideness and turn off position radius motion path and grid then longevity set it 5 and then go to producer then radius x set it 0 radius y set it 0.170 and radius z set it 0 then go to physics and animation set it early velocity set it uh, 0.22 and inherit velocity set it 44 gravity set it 0 0.220 resistance set it 1.7 and extra set it uh, maybe 0 0.04 and extra angle set it 281 degree Okay, now go to around uh, 3 seconds and set a keyframe on birth rate and change the amount to 0 0.005 then go to around uh, maybe 4 seconds 12 frames and make it 0. Now go to around 2 second trend frames then set a keyframe on inherit velocity, gravity, resistance, extra and extra angle then select the layer and press U then you can see the keyframes then go to last keyframe and make it all zero. then go to particles and uh, max opacity set it 100 perfect okay now create a new camera so right click new and click on camera and preset set it 15 mm then click on ok now create a new null object so right click new and click on null object and make it 3d and then select the camera and parent it to null one like this if you don't see the parent option simply right click then columns then click on parent okay now select the null layer and press r and x rotation set it 192 and Y rotation set it uh, maybe 17 okay now select the spark layer and press ctrl plus D to duplicate the layer and rename it to particles then select the layer and press U and then 
go to first keyframes of this layer and change some settings and in our velocity set it 16 gravity set it 0 0.330 extra set it 0 0.19 and extra angle set it 244 degree then go to second keyframe and uh, birth rate set it uh, 0 0.2 okay now select the particles layer and go to particle and particle type set it uh, lens convex and birth size set it 0 0.030 and depth size set it 0 0.060 then uh, go to effect and preset window and search for fill then select the effect and apply onto our particles layer then change the color to white then you can see the white particles then select the particles layer and drag it something like this okay now select all the layers and right click and choose pre-compose and select move all the attributes and rename it to spark then click on ok now make it 3d layer then select the layer and go to toolbar and select ellipse tool and double click on it now go to around 8 frames and open max properties and set a keyframe on max path then go to beginning of the animation and double click on max path and hold down all control shift and drag it something like this and max feather set it 380 Okay, now select the layer and click right click then go to time and click on enable time remapping then go to around three seconds and select the last keyframe and drag it into three seconds okay let's uh, trim the layer like this then select the layer and press s and scale set it 48 percent okay now select the layer and go to effect and preset window and search for fill then select the effect and apply onto our spark layer and change the color to light orange then click on ok now create a new adjustment layer so right click new adjustment layer then go to effect then go to stylize and then choose glow then glow threshold set it 78% uh, and glow radius set it 0 now again go to effect and preset window and search for camera lens blur then select the effect and apply onto our spark layer then blur radius set it 1 and diffraction fringe set it 0 and threshold set it 0 and saturation set it 100 then select the layer and press ctrl plus d to duplicate the layer and press s and make it 58% then select the layer and drag it like this then again press ctrl plus d and press s and make it 50 percent and drag the layer like this then select the layer and change the blur radius amount to 16 again select the layer and press ctrl plus D and press S 
and make it 47 percent and drag it like this and change the blur amount to 22 okay our spark animation is complete press 0 to ramp view wow it's look really nice okay now create a new composition go to composition new composition and rename it to logo comp then click on ok now go to project window and right click import and click on file then open project file and select all files and click on import you can download this project file from link in the description so please check this out now import your logo you can use text the process is the same for both logo and text now select your logo and drag it into your timeline then select texture layer and drag it into your timeline and put it below the logo layer and make it little bit smaller then select the texture layer and change the track mat to alpha mat now select the texture layer and go to effect and preset window and search for color balance then select the effect and apply onto our texture layer then change some settings okay now select those layers and right click and choose pre-compose and select move all the attributes and rename it to logo then click on ok then go to project window and select matte file and drag it into your timeline and put it above the logo layer and select the logo layer and change the track mat to alpha mat sorry luma mat okay our logo animation is complete this look nice okay now go to spark comp then go to project window and select logo comp and drag it into the timeline then make it 3d layer then create a new adjustment layer so right click new and create a new adjustment layer then go to effect and preset window and search for color balance then select the effect and apply onto our adjustment layer then change some settings okay perfect now create a new camera so right click new and click on camera and preset set it 15 mm then click on ok and now create a new null object so right click new and click on null object and make it 3d 
then select the camera and parent it to null 2 like this then select the null layer and press p and hold down alt and click on the stopwatch and type expression wiggle first bracket 8 comma 12 and then bracket close then enter our animation is complete so press 0 to ramp preview thank you very much for watching this tutorial if you like this tutorial please subscribe my channel it's totally free and don't forget to like and share it thank you have a great day